Hit him with the bell Sitting by the pool Meditating in Chanel Mama always said That my word is like a spell When I see it Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. In today's YouTube video, I will be taking you guys along with me for a full birthday prep. Today is Monday and it is the start of my birthday week. My birthday falls on my favorite day of the week, which is Friday. I absolutely love Friday. Just the fact that it's the start of the weekend and Libra is just a representation of the start of the fall, the start of the season. It's a cardinal sign, so this birthday just makes me feel like extra aligned and extra in my element and i am super stoked about it i do have a lot of things to prep for birthday i am going to vegas for my 21st birthday it is a given i must go i have been blessed and lucky enough to already travel to mexico in the dr so if you guys haven't checked out those videos don't forget to watch because I love taking you guys along with me through all my adventures and all the great blessings that the universe gives me. I am just so grateful that I want to share with everybody. I also, this past weekend, had a little get together so that way all my friends that are going to go to Vegas can get to know each other and get to meet. And guys, it was a party at home, so I definitely took advantage of having fun, turning up, and I actually, for the first time in my life, I slept with makeup on and you can tell oh my goodness guys my skin like I usually take care of her very well but I slept in my makeup and I will never do that again so I will remember to bring white bees for Vegas <laughs> I am so lucky that my star mom is an amazing esthetician so I will be visiting her so that way I can get a facial and honestly just like get more into like my element and feel better about my skin about myself my confidence for my birthday this is an amazing way to start my birthday prep, my birthday week. I do not want to run late. I still have a full day of clients after my facial. I still have to do content today, edit TikTok. Today is a busy day. I still have to make dinner. Honestly, this week is going to be jam-packed, but I thrive during grind season. I thrive having my to-do list for anything that I've done on the to-do list. I love the feeling of crossing it off. This is actually barely like my second facial in my life, so I'm really excited. Oh, I'm just like, I need to refresh it on my skin. Oh, let's go. I did end up coming to the car wash because I need to start off the week with a brand new, fresh, clean smelling car. Having my area cluttered makes me feel stressed and anxious and that's just the last thing I need for my birthday week is being stressed out and rushed and anxious so I'm gonna finish up cleaning my car so that I can head to my permit so I am here at my stepmom's salon and I did bring her some flowers because this is my first time getting serviced at her new studio suite and these are actually the flowers from the centerpieces of my gathering this weekend and I just love giving and I have so many left over so might as well give them out to my loved ones <laughs> This is gonna be part of his childhood coming to work with his mama. We're doing the spice cider facial, beginning of fall. Perfect. Mm. That's what I was saying. <laughs> 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 this feels pretty comfy and I'm excited to get pampered.
Guys, my look at my skin already looks so clean. We did the spice cider, that's why it looks a little flush, but ooh, I am so ready. <laughs> Thank you to Courtney, she slayed me <laughs> and my skin. Go follow her, please. <laughs> I love my facial. Now it is time for me to get going to work and I'll meet back up with you guys whenever I do my next birthday prep. Hey guys, so it is actually the next day. I just got done with a full day of clients. I'm a little bit tired. I had three clients back to back, but it is now time for me to get my spray tan. I love getting my spray tan because it is like makeup for all over the body. And my outfits just look better and I feel better when I'm tan especially with this fall season and winter coming up I definitely like to keep up with my tans because already as is I do not really step outside so I gotta make sure I have some type of color in me on me so let's go get our tan So we have the tan on. I, I still need to let it develop, but I already love how it looks. I'm going to put on sweatpants and a t-shirt so that way I don't get everything in, in my nail room dirty. Hey guys, so I am in my comfy clothes. I absolutely love being in my comfy clothes and in my workspace because it just makes it feel more like home. Um, I did not want to mess up my chair, so that's why I put on some pants and a t-shirt. I actually just did my Limon swatches. Guys, I am so obsessed. Like, oh, like literally look how beautiful. I'm definitely going to be using one of these for my birthday nails. I'm thinking either this one or this rose gold one. I don't know yet. Oh. Because next to the green, this looks more green, but it also looks like a white gold. And then this one's just more rose gold. So I don't know which one I should do. So I am officially going to start my nails. It is currently 6.30 p.m. I'm pretty sure I'll be done by 10.30 Hopefully, let's see. Also, do not forget to watch the Q&A Do My Nails With Me YouTube video. I will have it linked right here. So do not forget to check that out and do not forget to follow me on TikTok. We of course have Miss Bailey Sarian playing in the background. So I am going to start off by removing all the shine from my natural nails. I'm going at a really low speed and very light pressure because I do not want to thin out my nails. I don't want to thin my nails out at all. She give me for me out, say she give me for me out. Fine girl, I call me not me out. Say she bounce on the thing so, whine it for me thing so. Put the thing upon me thing, whine it for me thing so. I say she whine it for me out. Man, I give it to her one time. Say she want it one time, whine it for me out. Man, I step in at the yard, many girls them say I, 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 I. I ain't a bad man, I ain't want to say I, 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 I She ain't a bad man, they want to feel Say she give me for me, I say she give me for me, think so Whine it for me, girl, say she whine it for me, think so Move your body for me, think and whine it for me, think so Come they sing so, whine it for me, think so I, 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 I ain't a bad man, I ain't they want to say I, 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 I She ain't a bad man, they want to feel and the application for my first hand is done. She is looking so cute and long. It's been so long since I've had long nails. But oh, I absolutely love the Lemonade glitter. Like her fall glitters are absolutely amazing. This color is in sage. And it's definitely giving sage, but it's giving me like white gold. Like I'm gonna do acrylic white flowers. So paired next to the white, it's gonna look really pretty. So now I just have to do this one. I will be right back because it's actually 8 p.m. already and I just want to not go to bed at a super late time. I'm gonna do this one off camera. And we have both nails applied, both hands applied. They are looking 
so bomb. I am so beyond obsessed with the lemonade glitters. Definitely do not miss and go shop her fall collection. They are absolutely amazing. I literally cannot wait to use all these amazing, beautiful glitters on my client. So what's left is filing. I start off with my e-file. I go ahead. Actually, I'm gonna do hand filing first, get the bulk of the nail, and my application is pretty good. So I'm going to clean up the shaping and then hand file the entire nail. I absolutely love hand filing, hand shaping. I honestly prefer it over the e-file because the file is so straight. And when you fall up here, oh, it just gives you that like super straight reflection line. I'm totally gonna have dust all over me, but I really do not care. <laughs> Biggest thing to remember when filing, quick little tip, you guys got me in a teaching mood. You want to file right up underneath. You want to file right underneath at first and then straight up against it. You do not want to file up and down like this. You do not want to file like this. You want to connect all the side walls and do long strokes kind of like forward and backward that's gonna give you guys the sharpest cleanest shape and of course my favorite files my favorite hand files they are the 80 80 grit hand files that are listed on my Amazon storefront. Highly recommend to go shop my Amazon storefront. I have amazing products and amazing glitters and nail art that I use and it's just guys like the two-day shipping is just so convenient guys i'm really really excited for my birthday trip i actually really haven't talked about it but i am getting ready for vegas i have the best group of friends coming with me and just the fact that they're able to make it means the world and that they're gonna show out for me literally means the entire world guys i do not play when it comes to hand file I already know. Oh, I already know. No, no, no. I'm not even gonna manifest it. I'm gonna hope I don't hurt my nails. I'm not used to the long nails no more. But I want to have them long for my birthday. But I do not play. Clearly, I don't play when it comes to my hand shaping, my hand filing. It just gives you like, oh, I'm not even done. And it just gives you like the cleanest structured nail and I leave just enough space for the top around the cuticle that's when I go in with the safety bit and seal that cuticle and it honestly just saves me like a lot of time because it honestly saves me a lot of time because I honestly take a quite a bit with the e-file and then when I am happy with it I make sure to look at the nail from like all angles when i do my client's nails i'm literally like breaking my neck making sure that everything looks good as soon as i'm done i make sure to hold my nail completely completely parallel and i mean completely perpendicular and then my file completely parallel and that'll give you the cleanest tip tip <laughs> that'll give you the cleanest crispest tip of nail and that honestly in my opinion is what makes or breaks a good nail shape if the tip is nice and crispy, your nail shape is going to look bomb. If the angle of your file is angled down, like this, you're going to have a very dome looking tip and it's just going to make your nail shape look even, like look rounded even though it's not rounded. I don't really mind the fact that I'm taking down on some length. I just really want my nails to be super straight. And look at the baby, she's looking nice and clean. And I'm just gonna do that 10 more times. I honestly love the fact that I'm a nail tech because of so many reasons. I love the fact that I can be a perfectionist and it's actually highly encouraged. I tend to realize that one of my negative qualities is perfectionism or perfectionism, whatever the word is, seeking perfection. And that has got me in a lot of trouble, to be honest because it's a standard that nobody in the world can meet. <laughs> Perfection, quite literally, does not exist other than within one standard. Even my standard can be different from somebody else's standard. So 
I realized that but I also am in the season of my life where I'm just accepting myself for who I am and I realized that I am a perfectionist and I absolutely love when things go perfectly my way <laughs> And I like when everything is up to my standard. And instead of trying to suppress that part of me that is me, because being a perfectionist is just always having a part of me, does that mean I can change it? Yes, I can definitely change. Do I want to? Not really, because I am utilizing that negative quality of perfection to positively impact my life through my career through nails honestly through making other women feel beautiful and and i love that being a perfectionist is encouraged and kind of praised in a weird way it just makes me feel better as if i belong instead of trying to suppress who i am and hide who i am and completely change who i am i'm just embracing all parts of me shadow and all and if you guys are ever questioning about being a nail tech or if this is for you i want you to take a moment straight out of when you wake up in the morning because that's when your brain waves are at a certain wave straight in the morning i want you to step outside especially now since this fall season is welcoming crispy fresh new air i want you to step outside and I want you to focus on a sound, birds chirping, the water running, whatever it may be. And I want you to ask yourself, and I want you to envision your life as a nail tech. And if you get a feeling, it's just a feeling you will know. And if you get a feeling, the feeling of excitement, the feeling of alignment, the feeling of passion, baby, it may be for you in this season of life. I would much rather regret trying and not fully succeeding and having something in my toolbox than regretting not even trying at all. I'd rather not regret not trying. Living my life and thinking, I could have lived another life or I could have done this, I could have done that. If you're looking for a sign, baby, this is your sign. Get a little kit from my Amazon storefront and dive right into it. You're not gonna be good at first. <laughs> I was not good at first. I was not good whatsoever and it took me like six hours to do my first nail set my sister's nails i love my sister ride or die since day one they were not good whatsoever all i remember was just feeling to the fullest that i've ever felt at that moment of my life i remember feeling like this is truly my passion this is truly what i want to do this is truly what i want to pursue i'm very deeply in touch with myself i do consider myself an empath truly like i feel things really deeply i feel things a lot and not just a lot but really deep inside and that was the first time in my life that i felt something really really deep inside was when i picked up my brush <laughs> and i have not set my brush down ever since then and it has been five years and i absolutely love my life the life i've created knowing that i created my life knowing that you create life rather than life happens to you is a complete mindset like what this product the product of your environment is what goes on in your mind your thoughts make your personality and your personality affects your personal reality so if your thoughts are thinking bad thoughts if if you're listening to that record system of belief system since you were a child if you think that those belief systems are you or you really do believe those belief systems that's going to show up in your outer environment because you're focusing on the negative no matter what you're always manifesting what's around you whether you think you are you aren't you're always manifesting something around you the moment you wake up and your shower is cold you're like oh my god today's gonna be a bad day and you're gonna look at all the reasons why today's gonna be a bad day rather than when you wake up and think oh today's gonna be a good day you're gonna look for all the reasons today's gonna be a good day it's all about mindset baby you can create the life that you want i'm in the process of creating my life i'm in the process of it i'm not even fully where i want to be not even close where i want to be and i still feel like i'm on top of the world and that's the key to getting all your manifestations to come true is to feel happy in the now feel happy in the present don't focus on things that you don't have focus on things you do have focus on things you accomplished focus on the fact that you woke up today like life the universe doesn't owe you the, the today the you you could have died in your sleep you are not owed anything so be thankful show gratitude that's another way to cut through your manifestations is being grateful where you are for every for everything for everything i want you guys to comment down below three things in your life that you guys are grateful for 
I'm beyond grateful for my dedication of self-improvement and my dedication of self-love. I'm beyond grateful for my business and my clientele and the people that support me. I'm grateful for my family. I'm grateful for you guys. I'm grateful for literally, I'm grateful for this camera. I'm grateful for everything 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 and i appreciate you for following me through my journey and the fact that i can inspire so many people means the world but i just want you guys to know that i'm growing up with you guys too like i'm experiencing everything too everything that i've experienced everything that i learned i'm here to share with you guys because i truly believe there's enough for everybody to eat i believe everybody deserves all their dreams and hopes and manifestations to come true and i truly believe we're all born good we're all born good we all have good in us oh let me stop i need to finish my nail because i'm barely i'm barely on my first hand and it is 9 p.m so to get back on track i'm going to try to finish my hand shaping in 20 minutes it is actually on the clock nine o'clock so i will check back with you guys in a second and they are finally on nice and shaved i got all that done in four minutes <laughs> so let's hope that i'm actually done pretty quick with this other one <gasps> my camera's about to die so i'm gonna check back with you guys when these are on nice and ready to get design on i'm just gonna go i'm going to seal the cuticle to make sure that they do not lift on me i'll be right back so it is officially 9:40 and i am all done filing and shaping my nail the only thing left to do is to buff out my nails make sure that there are no little scratches almost done guys i'm pretty tired but i'm pushing through it i just can't wait to enjoy my nails being done everybody say hi we're on the live <laughs> look if you guys want to see this up oh she a whole youtuber <laughs> But my camera's about to die, so I actually can't record this. guys let me shut my door it is a brand new day i did end up finishing my nails last night and i ended up finishing them off on live i cannot wait to show you guys i am just like so beyond obsessed and oh they're just so like giving 21 birthday everything oh my goodness i'm so happy with how they came out and today's hair day i did end up washing my hair last night so my hair is just naturally uh wavy and like frizzy and i know i have some type of curl pattern but i honestly don't care <laughs> like regardless i still like i don't really wear my hair natural other than when i'm at the beach because something about that moist air and sandy and salty water makes my hair look really like good but that is why we are gonna go get hair done today i am getting long hair extensions i am so ready i have been wanting long hair forever but i always end up cutting it actually like weirdly in the in the winter time guys i literally had to rush on my door but we always always have time for some starbucks it is a staple it is a must to get your starbucks on hair day on self-care day nail day it is just a form of self-love mm. i usually get a grande but today's a special day it's a special week so i got a venti ice white mocha with pumpkin cold foam caramel drizzle they forgot it so they added it on top which is fine and a cinnamon powder on top and it is the perfect like fall sweet coffee vibe oh it's delicious excited for my hair appointment i am fully expecting to be there all day literally like all day because we're gonna go a little bit lighter kind of do like my roots because oh my goodness my hair is like all grown out as well as install the hair extensions i want to go pretty long guys you know what song is playing guys that's my song <laughs> let me stop <laughs> I actually have 
never gotten hair extensions and I'm really really excited and I fully trust who I'm going with she is my mom's hairstylist my sister's hairstylist and she is just loved and trusted within the family and i definitely cannot imagine going with anybody else five 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 i see five 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 on a license plate five 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 means embracing change and welcoming new things and things like oh so that makes me feel good anytime i see an angel number i see it as like my higher future self is sending me some signals sending me some messages like girl you're on the right path and whenever i see an angel number it just brings me so much comfort knowing that i'm exactly where i'm meant to be and it's future me telling me now that i'm exactly where i'm meant to be so that's why i love the angel numbers i see myself as my own garden angel i'll see you guys when i arrive at my hair appointment i'm a pretty sand bitch hit him with the bell Sitting by the pool, meditating in Chanel. Mama always said that my word is like a spell. Ah! Oh my god! Oh, I'm so excited! Oh, there's more than a whole other pack, too. Okay. I, the goal is to look as, as expensive as possible. <laughs> I'm the brush queen of cut Switching lanes on the beat Give my skip a heat And I drip so hard Got them drowning in my seats Tell them yes, I'm a son These haters wanna judge But life's too short to get another one Oh, what's up? Oh my goodness Oh my goodness I'm gonna be so blonde Yeah I'm gonna go Hey, hate a bitch, I always wish you well. Always wish you well, yeah, always wish you well. Lots of coming back, like they going on sale. How you gonna win if you only give them hell? Wish him well, wish him well, wish him well. In my blacked out truck, moving like an icon. When the shit got rough, had to switch my lights on, cause I made a couple plays. Pineapple or black? Um, pineapple. Or blackberry, or whichever. This one's fine. Yeah. Starting birthday celebrations now. Easy, no beef in my bikini. All these bitches want the fire, but they don't got a good. We have about two rows of salt. Never preach. About two rows of salt. Guys, I am obsessed already. Like, we're gonna blend them and we're gonna make them look good. I'm so excited. Always wishing well. Always wishing well. Yeah, always wishing well. Lots of coming back like they're going on sale. I am ready to go and head out to the airport which means that brings us to the end of my YouTube video if you guys are still watching thank you guys so much from the bottom of my heart my birthday is tomorrow so by the time you guys see this <laughs> your girl's gonna be 21 I'm already starting the birthday vibes. The 21st birthday vibes is all Barbie and I totally feel so it. Oh, my Uber is about to be here and pick me up to drop me off at the airport. I'm gonna meet up with my friends. With that being said, don't forget to like this video, subscribe, and hit the bell notification so you guys can get notified when I upload my 21st birthday vlog. I am definitely taking you guys with me. And I'm so beyond grateful that I'm able to enter my 21st birthday with you guys and my channel. And it's literally like all my dreams and all my manifestations are unfolding and coming true. And I'm so beyond grateful to, to myself, to the universe, to my family, to you guys. I love you guys so much. Your favorite nail tech is going to be 21 next time you see her.